Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my Photoshop actions that help you cre easily create block patterns in Adobe Photoshop. These actions are available for sale on my Etsy shop, and I will leave a link in the description where you can check them out. After you have downloaded the file from Etsy, you will see a you will see a file that has .atn at the end, and that is your actions that you can load into Photoshop. Inside of Photoshop, let's go ahead and create a new file. So these actions are designed to use with a canvas size of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave artboards uh, selected. If you want to use the pattern preview tool, you'll need to leave this unselected because it does not work with artboards. But in this case, we are going, I'm going to use artboards, so I'm going to leave it selected. And then uh, just setting my resolution to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So now I have my uh, 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels canvas here. First off, you'll need to have your actions panel open. If you do not currently have it open, go to windows and select actions. With the actions panel open, clicking on the little icon in the upper right corner, go ahead and click to load actions. Go ahead and navigate to your file, clicking on the file with the .atn on it and then click on open. And you will see that the actions are loaded into your actions panel here. Here you see the folder, it's block patterns for one object, and this is the set A. For the naming here, you'll see BL, which stands for block. 1T stands for one tone. As you scroll down, you'll notice there are a few that have a 2T for two tone. And then the type of a uh, different kind of transformation. So this is just uniform. This next one, we have a flip vertical in a dot style. And then I will ex just show you some examples of the different kinds here. So let's go ahead and grab a shape. So I'm going to go to the custom shapes tool. I'm going to go shift U until we get to our custom shapes here. Bringing down the icon here, I'm going to go ahead and find a shape. Looking under Legacy Shapes and More, I'm going to scroll down and click on the music one here. And then I'm just going to select the music notes here, dragging out to draw it on the canvas here. And then we'll just fill it with black here, hitting V for the move tool here. So uh, when using these actions, just go ahead and click on your object. Your object does not have to be centered. So we'll go ahead and test this first one here this block one tone uniform, and then you can just click the play button. And then what you'll see is we automatically have a block pattern created here. And here in the layers panel, what you see is we have our original um, object here. It is um, not visible at the moment. And then we have a group created with all of the different repetitions for this here. So. And then I'm going to bring up my patterns panel. Again, if you do not see your patterns panel, go to window and select patterns. What you'll notice here in my patterns panel is I have a swatch of this pattern automatically created after playing that action. So let's go ahead and test this pattern on a larger scale artboard. So I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit and then just selecting my artboard here, I'm going to right click and duplicate artboard. And then just selecting OK here, it creates a duplicate here. For this one, I do not need um, all of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it right now. And then clicking on this artboard, I'm going to go over to properties. And then this time um, with the this icon selected, so it makes a um, even change uh, vertically and horizontally. We're gonna go 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels to get the size of digital scrapbook paper. And then I'm just gonna create a new layer. Um, let's add a pattern layer here. And then jumping back over to my patterns, I'm going to select our newly created pattern. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it uh, some color. So we'll add a solid color adjustment layer. 
clicking OK. And then I'm going to create a clipping mask there. And then we'll do one more for the background layer. We'll just make this one white for the moment. So F, F, F and then clicking on OK. And then let's grab a little bit of a darker color. Um, let's do that for the background so then we can see. So now we have our simple uniform block repeating pattern um, from our action here. So let's go ahead and test another one. I'm gonna delete this extra layer here. We'll rename this one digital paper. And then this one will be swatch. And then I'm just going to bring it up here so we're organized here in our layers panel. So coming back to our swatch canvas here. So if you decide that you want to try another action, you'll just click on this group, click on the delete icon, and then just select group and contents. And then you can bring back your original one here. So we have our layer selected. Let's go ahead and try one of these vertical rotations. So we have block, one tone, vertical dot. So we will go ahead and play it here. So automatically it created a pattern. We have our new group, we have our original, and then we have the pattern defined here in our patterns panel. So we can jump back over into our digital paper canvas and then we can test out our new pattern here. And as you can see, we use the vertical where we have our um, original and then it flips it vertically in what is called a the dot style pattern here. So these actions just make a quick way to create different variations of the block pattern. So let's go ahead and uh, continue and try another one. So we'll jump back here. We'll delete this group. Group and contents, we have our original selected here. So we'll move down to this horizontal chain. So we have, let's try it by row. So we have our block one tone horizontal by row. We'll go ahead and play that there. We have our new pattern here. We will test it out. And now we see a, a new variation where we have flipped horizontal to change our pattern here. And then I will demonstrate another one for you here. Let's go ahead and delete this group and contents. We'll select our new one here. And then we will do, uh, let's try out the scale one um, by a column here, and then we'll push play. And then we have it selected uh, here, and then we will add it to our digital paper. And this time we have a change in scale um, by a column here. So these are really nice actions where you can create quick repeating patterns with it. Um, and then what's even nice is just built into the action is it automatically defines the pattern for you. So you can just quickly see your new pattern and test it out. Let's go ahead and add delete this group here. And then I am going to create a, a different shape here. So let's just command plus to zoom in on this particular canvas here. And then let's go back to our shapes tool. Uh, this time let's just use a ellipse, the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to uh, draw out a circle here. We're gonna make it bigger this time. Uh, fill is gonna be no fill, stroke is going to be black. And then let's bring up our stroke a little bit here to 40 pixels, V here. And then, like I said, you do not have to center it before using it, you can uh, just use it like that. So we have our ellipse selected. One recommendation when using these actions is to, um, it's a good idea to convert your uh, object into a smart object. So let's go right click convert to smart object first. That way you can make any changes if you'd like to. So we have our ellipse selected. We are going to try out one of these two tone patterns here. So let's select the block two tone and then here it's opacity 50% and then let's do our dot style and then we'll just click on play. And then as you can see, we have our newly created pattern and. Some of it has a different opacity at 50% here. So let's test it out. We'll zoom back out on this canvas, coming back to our patterns panel, and then we will select that pattern. So the two tone option just gives you a nice little uh, variation here. Uh, looking at the layers panel here, so if we uh, 
change this color to white here. You can see uh, the white show through. If we uh, change the order, so say we put white in the background and then we pick this as the color, um, it shows nicely um, on the white as well where you have the 15 or you have the 50% opacity of the original color um, coming through there. And then uh, back in our swatch panel here, since we used the uh, smart object first, I'm gonna double click to open up the smart object. Let's go ahead and change this object here. Clicking on shift and then I'm going to uh, just bring it in to make it more of an oval here. And then let's just center that there. And then to uh, get out of this, we'll go Command or Control S to save it, and then Command or Control W to close it. As you can see here in the swatch, it has updated our pattern here. After making this change, you will need to uh, define the pattern again, and to do that, you can go to Edit, Define Pattern, clicking OK, and then you'll see that new pattern here in the swatch, and then let's go ahead and test it out here. And we have our newly created pattern here as well. So these actions are really nice and really helpful to create some quick uh, variations of the block repeating pattern. And what's nice is it automatically creates a swatch for you um, with the full repeat of the pattern here. Thank you for watching this video on how to use this uh, repeating pattern set for block patterns. If you'd like to uh, purchase this Photoshop Actions, it will be available for, for purchase in my Etsy shop and I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.